um, on Instagram. And this is again something that we teach in our program, sell by text, like having conversations with uh, you know potential clients to build relationships and then you know possibly get them as clients. I don't know if this say this more just like a rant that, um, that we're going to talk about, but I really hope that you know um, this hits home with some of the listeners. You know, I divide um, racism, politics, um, control, the vaccines, all that stuff. I'm not going to get into. It. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode in the Dynamic Lifestyle Podcast. So, quick, real quick commercial plug. This show is sponsored by Waterloo Sparkling Water. And this is sponsored by Instant Coffee from Costco. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys, we're just messing around. Um, we're actually doing video forums of these podcasts now, so I was just being silly and uh, no, there's no uh, plug on that. I'm just drinking a Waterloo. Chris is drinking some coffee right now, so... Hope you guys are having a great Tuesday and uh, you guys are doing well out there. So Chris, what's going on, man? Um, we got a couple weeks before Halloween. Um, got any uh, costumes lined up or what's going on? Yeah, so uh, it's actually my fiance Lisette's uh, birthday on actually on actual Halloween. Right? Oh, that's creepy. So last year, yeah, last year <laughs> when we barely moved into this new place in uh, Dallas, Texas, we had all of her friends and all of our friends come down and they stayed the whole weekend for us and it was absolutely nuts. It really was. It was a lot of fun though, but this time we're going to do a little bit more mellow, but we'll have a good time. You know, everybody come over. We'll have like the Great Gatsby theme going on like on Sunday for actual Halloween, you know, Saturday we'll go out to dinner in downtown Dallas, have, go have a good time. So I'm looking forward to it though. You know? Yeah, I'll say we're, um, we'll be a little bit more responsible this year. You know, as you get older, you kind of have to grow up. I just, kind of yeah. how it works. I just think it was just like that time, man, we moved, you know, from LA and like we were just stressed yeah. out. We needed to just like let loose and mm -hmm. have some fun. You know, I think for that's sure. what it was. For sure. All right, well, let's jump into this. Um, so we got a good discussion today and I don't want to this, say this more just like a rant that, um, that we're going to talk about, but I really hope that, you know, um, this hits home with some of the listeners. You know, I know a lot of you guys um, are already with us and doing this right now. So um, this is a nice little fresh reminder and it'll be some good takeaways too. But maybe if you're like new to the show and you're not online with your business right now, then this might be a nice little wake up call. So um, this is all going to be centered around like, like literally, like I really am trying to be nice here, but I'm going to give tough love. Like you're a complete idiot um, if you're a health and fitness coach and you have no form of like component that's online right now. And um, it's not for me to say that you take your business completely online, but if you're not doing something right now to build your business online or have like a game plan to go online the next like month or something or two, um, then you're a complete idiot and you're very, very um, just like naive and you're very blinded by what's going on in the world. And that's what we're going to be talking about. So before I get into that, like this, this kind of topic really inspired me by doing some sell by text conversations with people um, on Instagram. And this is again, something that we teach in our program, sell by text, like having conversations with um, you know potential clients to build relationships and then you know possibly get them as clients. And that's a form of like what you should be doing like as an online business owner and coach. But I was having some conversations with people and um, like, you know, for me, I'm very genuine when it comes off to like doing conversations, I'll do audio sometimes. and. It's not even about me trying to like close a sale or sign somebody up. It's just I love really understanding where people's like thinking is yeah. and why they think the way they do. Um, and it's just because sometimes I know they I know they don't know any better. It's because of the way they were taught and you know just from certain education programs, probably certification programs like the the broken school system, um, peers that they're around. I mean, there's a lot of variables, but I just know that it's like a broken thinking, um, a broken thinking um, mind or just whatever or whatever I want to say on that. But it's just, it's it's crazy to me because I'll ask somebody like, well, have you considered just like even having an online component within your, your health and fitness coaching business? And they're just like, no, that's just not for me. Or I've tried it in the past and it didn't work. And, um, you know, yeah, I'll probably do that like in the next six months or something. I'm just like, wow. Like, I'm like, like, do you really see what's going on like in the world right now with like, you know, past lockdowns with like the control that's going on? I mean, like. Really, like you're, you're willing to roll the dice and just be like, no, I'm not gonna have an online component with my business and really future pu uh, future proof and recession proof my business, like have complete control of my my time, complete control of my freedom, my uh, my finances and, and my clients. Like really, you're really willing to roll the dice and not even do that. And 
like the conversation usually, <laughs> I, I'm always going to just be like, I always leave the conversation in a good way to really just educate somebody and give some of my perspective. And it's never something where it's like I have ego and I, I tell them like, I, I don't try to shame them and bash them through these conversations and make them feel stupid. It's just me about me educating them and bringing awareness, if that makes sense, guys. Um, so yeah, you know, um, that's kind of what inspired me to talk about this today is just like a lot of conversations I still have with people today. Like they are still very like, um, naive about going online with their businesses and it's just crazy. I mean, like, what do you think about that, Chris? Well, I mean, it's just, there's no, there's no nice way to put this, yeah, you know, it's, it's just hard. like, man, like it's, it's frustrating because for what we do, like as far as like being health and fitness coaching, like, you know, mentors and, and you know for them to grow and help and help them scale their business like it's frustrating as heck because we want to help them so bad but i don't know what it is like to where some people just don't see kind of where the puck is going with stuff and like anticipating just you know where things are heading and if if they don't see that after what happened with covid then i don't know what it's going to take for someone to open up their eyes i don't you know and i don't have the answer for that and it's not my responsibility like for that because Again, if you don't, if, if, if COVID didn't wake up your eyes as a gym owner, as a health and fitness coach to have a dual component, again, we were not always saying you have to go online, right? You can, you, you can do a hybrid training model, but if, man, you're not doing one of those things due to what you saw from COVID. I don't know what to say. I mean, this is probably not there. This is probably not for them to be listening to. It's not. And, and if, if maybe this is your wake up call, which I hope it is, then damn, you know, like wake up and, and take action and do something about it, you know, like quick, because you can't keep waiting anymore. You don't know what's going to happen going forward. We don't, we all don't know, which is scary and it sucks, you know? Yeah. I know, I know, my bad. I know you're probably like, dude, why did you do that? I just really quick and we'll be back to that video. I just want you to join our free Facebook group community for health and fitness coaches looking to get more online clients. So just click the link below in the description box, join it absolutely free. We got some cool stuff in there, a lot of videos, we do live trainings every couple of months on there. And we got some cool freebies on there. So just make sure to click the link below, join our free Facebook group for health and fitness coaches that want to level up and get more online clients to create more income, impact, influence, independence. Back to the video. Yeah, and just like think about this, guys. Like, I mean, like, you know, like Chris said, like if COVID didn't really give you a scare or just like, at least just like make you be like, wow, okay, yes, yeah, so this is why I do need an online component. Then yeah, you're in complete, like, just like, um, like it's like, it's like not even like, I, I, it's, I can't, I have no words for it. It's just like, you're, you're really not like really thinking bigger and you're not seeing like where the future is going with this to where it's like, yeah, so many people when, when COVID happened, like they didn't know, but they had to pivot and they had to just figure it out right away. And cool. You know, kudos to you guys. If you guys did that, like man, I, I give you guys like 10 fist pumps, like seriously for doing that. But now there's no excuse because if that were to happen again, you need to be prepared. Like you need to have some education in different forms of skills that's going to take you online and, and make you still run an efficient business. And it's just, this is a serious question to think, or this is a serious question to think about guys. It's just like, what if gyms did close again? Like really, what if they did close again? What would you do? And you're not prepared to be online or you have nothing going on online. Just think about that. And I talked about earlier, like what's going on in the world, right? You guys, you guys see it. There's so much going on in the world <laughs> right now where it's like, you know, divide, um, racism, politics, um, control, the vaccines, all that stuff. I'm not going to get into all that stuff. Like I, this is not the episode for that, but there's a lot going on. And there's an example that I want to bring up is what's going on in Australia. So for my fellow Aussies, you know, I feel for you guys, man. Like it's, it's, it's rough out there. Like we're in a mastermind right now. And it's like, uh, the, the coach that leads it, um, he is from Australia. So there's so many like, um, like other Australians out there we've connected with and they're always giving us updates what's going on. It's very unfortunate. And it's like all about control, um, with the government. So just think about that guys. Like, I mean, like what, what if gyms did close? You know, like, what would you do? And you see how also, too, how inflation is continuing to just, just rise throughout the U.S. And it's not going to stop. If you think it's going to stop, then you're out of your mind. So it's like, again, like, number one, you should be always thinking, how am I going to make more income for myself, my family, my loved ones, and to get ahead? And number two, like, let's say just again, inflation increases more and more, Right. Like people are going to get to a point where they don't have like, you know, that disposable income to go to a gym or even possibly hire a, a coach. So you better be prepared for that to, you know, um, be able to take people on through online coaching. 
Um, because maybe gyms at some point are just going to be inevitable and just like disappear. Yeah. Or what's going to happen is let's just say if they're working for like a big box gym, like a, a 24 hour yeah. or like an Equinox or just whatever it is, a big box gym, what's going to happen is like, they're going to sit there. It's already, it already sucks for the personal trainer that's doing this because it's like an 80, 20 split, right? Where they get 20% of like what that whole entire like hourly rate was. What's going to happen is that's going to go down a little bit more or they're going to be pressured to sit there and sell add-ons more right whether that's like supplements merchandise like more sessions whatever it is that pressure is going to happen because again if inflation keeps happening the gym has to increase like their prices or they have to figure out different ways to make more money and who's going to get hit the hardest obviously the personal trainer right so that's another thing to think about that pressure of you having to sell more stuff for them or literally taking a pay cut maybe because of like the, the gym having to make up the, the money on the back end like that, right? And then other, other than that though, it's like, just think about this. If you're not, if you don't have an online component by now, I mean, and if you have a family too, most importantly, mm -hmm. like, could you just yeah. imagine like if this did happen, right? It, it's almost selfish that you're putting your family in this like predicament, right? That could potentially happen again. And I hope it doesn't happen again, but how selfish is that, that you're not preparing yourself, right? To where it's like, if the gym was to close down and that revenue stream got cut down, you don't have another revenue stream online, right? And again, what happens too about like, what if you want to end up just like picking up and leaving? What if like your city or your state just got really bad or even your country just got really bad and you need to make a decision for like um, your family, your, the future of your family, and you need to pick up and leave and you can do it because you have an online component. You're not stuck in chained down to the gym with just one uh, money-making revenue stream by being a personal trainer in person or even nutritionally consultant in person, whatever it is, right? Just think about that. Don't be selfish just for yourself. Think about your family and the future going forward. Yeah, that's such a good point. It's like you always want to be in control of your income, you know, your 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 family, like just the future, the direction you're going in. And it's like you can do that by having an online, uh, you know, business. And it's just crazy, man. That's why I want to talk about this today where I'm just like, I just don't understand like how why people think like that. You know, it's just, I don't know if it's lack of fear. It's just like, I know people, you know, don't have like, you know, the right resource sometimes and it's like lack of a uh, skill sets and just direction, all that, but it's just, man, it's just, it's time to wake up. It's time to just like level up and aim higher, you know, as health and fitness coaches. I mean, you can only do so much at a gym, you know, you really can, I'm sorry, but there's so many limitations and you're never going to grow and expand and really see like the true greatness and really create more impact on people. So that's why I always say like what you have in your life right now is a direct result of your actions. I'll say that one time. What you have in your life right now is a direct result of your actions. And again, there's a lot of you that are very complacent out there and just like you're okay with what you're doing. And it's like, whatever, that, that makes you happy. But all I'm trying to do is just have you just think about like all the possibilities that might happen going forward. Like there's so much still that like is unknown and uncertain about the world and society because of what's going on. That I don't know how you can't sit there and want to be thinking differently and, you know, expanding like, you know, different outlets to, you know, get out of like certain situations or be ahead of the game and just like not be controlled by other people, right? I mean, God forbid, like that's the last thing you want to do is be controlled with like your guys' finances and like Kristen, like with your family, not be able to make decisions. Um, yeah, it's it's just crazy to me. Oh, so, one more thing too, mm -hmm. and then we'll wrap up on yeah. this. Um, th there's other, th also too, there's gyms too that I'm aware of. They, they pretty much control their trainers out there, right? So oh, where it's 100%. like, their trainers, I, I get it with these some of these big box gyms where it's like a non-compete clause and all that type of stuff with like going online. But man, when you get to the point where it's like, they control your social media to where you can't even create a, your own brand, like post stuff on there, that's crazy. Like they have people like in their management going and watching your stories and your posts and telling you like, um, you know, take it down and they get mad at you or you get penalized or something like that, whatever it is, or written up. I mean, man, you better wake up and start thinking about getting yourself out of like that position or that company because that's total control. That's total control. Look what's going on around the world. It's all around control, right? So again, do you want to constantly be controlled? Probably not. So you probably need to start thinking about having an online component for your business, right? Yeah, one last thing. I just couldn't stop thinking about this too, about like what I said earlier about the vaccines. Like like who knows at some point, may, maybe gyms are gonna like be like, look, you have to have a, I know it's happening even in California, like certain places where you have to have a vaccine card or something just to go to the gym. So it's like, I'm telling you guys, like just wake up. Like it's just, it's really, really crazy what's going on. And like I said, all this is, this whole podcast is just to bring you awareness. So I'll leave you with this. While other coaches are going online and learning new high income skill sets, you're being left in the dust. And plain and simple, like I said, I'm gonna give you guys tough love today, but it's time to wake the fuck up and uh, level up and, and aim higher. It really is. So I don't care what your excuse is. 
um, what your objection is about going online, um, I'm sorry, but if you keep thinking like that and keep thinking small, um, you're going to get crushed. And, you know, I, I really hope that's not the case. And I hope that I could be wrong about all this. But again, I'm always thinking, uh, you know, two to five steps ahead. That's, you know, one of my mentors told me. So that's what I'm trying to do and just give you guys some perspective here. So anything else? That's pretty much it. You know, right. and if you if you do want to go online and this is waking you up, which yeah. hopefully, hopefully it does and it inspired you, then, uh, you know, we, we just ask you, schedule your, your free more clients 10-minute brainstorming and call with us. That's it. Absolutely free. It's to help see what the gaps are, what you're doing right now in your business, and how we could potentially help you out. We're not going to sell you anything. Don't leave your credit card at home, right? So if you're watching this on YouTube, take, take a look at the description box below. Hit that link right there. You can schedule a free 10-minute uh, more clients brainstorming call. If you're um, listening to this on um, the podcast or, or you know iTunes or whatever it is, then go to our Instagram um, at Chris and Eric Martinez and go to the link tree, and there's a link in there for you know the same exact thing. And take us up on it. That's it. Just a conversation. That's it. Yep, exactly. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for for tuning in today and um, again always share this out with somebody that needs to hear this uh, leave us a rating and review we appreciate that but yeah guys always trying to you know just have the best intentions for you guys so I really hope this hit home so until next time have a good day